folks, thanks again for tuning in to Dude Craft Guitars. Captain James Nelson here with the very special Mandy for you. What makes this so special? I'll tell you about what makes it so special, but there are uh, descriptions over here that, that will help you out there too. Uh, really quickly, um, if any of you know, the Mandy was the first guitar that I actually made in a production style. Um, and then I pulled it back. I, I, I was ordering parts from factories uh, and there was miscommunication, things weren't working out right, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to start making them my own. So that's what I did, and now, unfortunately, what that means is that I don't have as many on hand all the time as I'd like. I really don't have stock guitars at this moment, other than I do have this one, and I'll have that one. You'll see a video about that in a moment. Actually, there is a video already on that one, but uh, nonetheless... Uh, I don't really do stock guitars right now because I'm so busy filling orders for custom guitars. That's not a complaint, just so you know. I'm really happy about that. What that does, however, is that means that now when somebody wants to order a guitar, yeah, the prices are going to be higher. Prices are higher on everything. Um, the price for me to make a Mandy one at a time is about 10 times of what it was for me when I was getting them from a factory. Um, however, I believe that they're better quality and that's why I, I, I did that so let me show you what I mean about it uh, uh, first of all first thing is uh, my hands touch this guitar from start to finish you know and to me that may or may not mean a lot to a lot of people but what that means is that I got to see it from when it was just chunks of wood basically just to where it is now as so it's just the same process that it takes when I make a custom guitar however uh, with a custom guitar you tell me what color you want you tell me what kind of woods you think you might want what the general aesthetics was we're here I did that and you know what's wrong with surfing green I mean who doesn't like it right uh, however if you don't like it you can order a custom one and uh, that's that's all that you know the the difference is this one is already made if you do like surf green guess what this swami surf green mandy is ready to go and i think it's a really cool instrument one thing i got to tell you is if you any of you have ever seen or touched or felt one of the original mandy's they were all made out of a maranti based uh, mahogany it's it's real lightweight mahogany and i do love working with that wood however i thought i'd see what would happen if i made one out of poplar so that's what this is it's a little bit heavier than the maranti not not that much i mean it's, it's not like i'm holding a, a 59 les paul here i mean it it's got some weight to it but it's not that bad uh what if anything it's it's really well balanced and i, and I like that because the mandy does have a big headstock as you can tell Although it is a 25 and a half inch scale, again, all the those really boring details are over here in the description. Let me just give you a sound sample because that's what the video is all about. Now, keep in mind, I do, although this is going through a nice little 40 watt tube amp over here, the little belt fire that I love, it is being filmed into a cell phone and you're probably watching it on your cell phone. So, you know, it sounds, if it sounds decent through all this, it's, it ought to sound really good live and on stage on, through a nice amp and PA system. I'll play some open chords for you there. I know I don't always do that on sound samples, but it's important because that also shows that I put time and care into the intonation. That was something that was missing from the factory guitars. Any of you ever buy factory guitars on sale, especially right now, this being you know the time of year for a lot of sales, you probably notice first thing you do when you get home is you want to change the tuners well again not to go over with redundant to the descriptions over here but you won't have to change these tuners these are not only locking tuners but these are goto locking tuners and they're quite possibly one of the finest out there um, as you know i use a lot of hip shot locking tuners again when you get a guitar from me you will not have to change the tuners okay so the other thing is We've got um, just a two point. A lot of the original Mandy's I was using a six point, and again, coming from factory, they were using whatever parts. A lot of you know pot metal type blocks. This is a full, full on steel block, Clusen, and, and it's a beautiful two point tremolo. 
you're not going to have to replace that thing. I mean, the only thing I would, if you wanted to replace that with like a locking system, like a Floyd, yeah, that would be the only thing. Anything else is going to be a downgrade from this. So don't, you don't have to change that. Uh, we've got Seymour Duncan pickups. You, another thing, a lot of guys, they get those $300 or, or less factory guitars, and they've got to change all that stuff. They've got to change pickups. They've got to change the bridge. they change the tuners. By the time you're done, you spent $1,200. You, you take it in to get the intonation set. You take it in to get the, the frets filed down because they're too rough or they're, they're not leveled right. Uh, they're not polished. You don't have to do that. This is all done. Okay? That's split position. This is a bridge. So you can hear what they pick the pickup sound like without added effects. Um, now let's do this. Here's another thing you won't have to do is any special wiring. Guess what? It's already been done. So what we have here is coil splitting, coil tapping. Again, see Dylan. <laughs> Blend that in with this humbucker. Okay, now let's go up here and pull that one apart. Now let's blend them. that you just don't <laughs> just surprise you it's got a solid neck you know it's not one of these super slim necks i can make them that way so again remember custom orders can be however you want um that's the beauty of it i do uh i do have a new program for this is one of the older style necks the the newer headstocks are a little slimmer um for no other reason just to just take some of the extra weight out of the headstock and also it kind of slims up the, the string. So 
This one is special. It is the very first one that um, I cut on my new machine. So to me, that's kind of a thing. I don't know. I don't know if that means anything. Maybe uh, 50 years from now at the Antiques Roadshow, someone will offer me an extra five bucks for it. I don't know. But uh, I can tell you, I do love the fact that this is where Dude Craft Guitar started and will continue. I, I, the, to me, they're just a cool little guitar. You know, it's, it's a little tighter body. Um, it's got everything you want in the neck feel. It's just, what can I say? Um, that all being said, if you send me a message making me what you think is a great little offer for this guitar, now keep in mind, this takes no less than 40 hours for me to make a guitar. So, and uh, in California, minimum wage is $20 an hour. I'm not saying I ever expect to make minimum wage making these guitars. I don't, I haven't, and who knows if I ever will. But it's something I love to do, and therefore I'd love to get this in the hands of a player. I made this one a while, it sat, I got busy with other orders. I haven't presented it until now. You've probably seen it as Easter eggs sitting on the chair back there, but it's done, it's been done, it's ready. I don't want this guitar hanging around. You know, this is that time of year, people want to, you know, get special deals. Talk to me, I'll get you a special deal on this guitar. I want a player to play this guitar, or if you want to give it as a gift to a player, I want to make sure that you could do that. Make it, put it in the hands of somebody who will play it and be happy. That's what it's all about. Thanks again, folks, for tuning in to Dude Craft Guitars. Hope you have a happy holidays.